Can science education be taken out of the classrooms to make it more interesting? Science India Forum Bahrain has influenced my life in unique ways. It has expanded my horizon, given me more exposure through programs such as the Shastrayan, BSIC or meet and greet with the scientists. We thought it was a normal examination that is going to happen for our students. But later we found that it was just not a simple talent examination that we find it across Bahrain. In fact, it was a whole lot of opportunities that it was opening up to the students. That we all invariably possess a pressing urge to find answers. But expanding its horizons and giving it a direction to take flight is what brings us closer to science. And this is exactly what the Science India Forum has helped me achieve through the Shastra Bhatiba contest. A group of highly motivated individuals who wanted their children to learn not only from inside the classrooms but also from outside took active interest in forming Science India Forum Bahrain. To raise these young children probably may be the scientists of India tomorrow. We do all these here in Bari under the patronage of the Embassy of India and also with the support of Vigyan Bharati and ISRO India. Over the past five years, the popularity of the Shastra Pratibha contest has risen with more than 11,000 students participating in 2018. The winners are given the title Shastra Pratibha. Many students, including Bahrainis, have achieved high grades in the contest. Uh, research. The research that they gave me was on ancient Indian astronomy. I did research and I did it in 3D. I did it in the books. Shastra Pradibas are invited to visit various research and development institutes in India and also interact with the senior scientists through our flagship program, Shastrayam. Over the years, our students visited the ISRO, DRDO, Brahmos Facility, Baba Atomic Research Center, Sutish Dhawan Space Center, and many more. We also visited top research and development institutes like the Central Leather Research Institute, Chennai, and also the, the Structural Engineering Research Center, where we had the opportunity to interact with eminent scientists and professors. And I should always be grateful to this organization for having instilled in me a renewed passion for science and opening for me a whole new world of opportunities and possibilities. Bahrain Students Innovation Congress, another flagship program of SIF Bahrain, screens projects for the National Children's Science Congress, a nationwide science camp being held every year in India. SIF Bahrain has been authorised by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, to do the screening of projects. Over the past three years, BSIC have screened and selected projects in the junior and senior categories from the participating schools in Bahrain. A team from our school got to represent Bahrain in India. Um, it has uh, got so much of fame that other students are also uh, willing to take part in this BSIC. Uh, the impact of BSIC has significantly created a high interest in self-exploration and uh, transforming the young minds to the next level of thinking. Me and my team made a project on converting waste plastics, a huge problem in India. I, as a group leader, represented Bahrain at the 25th National Children's Science Congress in Gujarat, India. SIF Bahrain is deeply thankful to the royal family of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Sheikh Nazar, His Royal Highness Sheikh Khalid, our beloved ambassador, His Excellency Alok Kumar Sinha, 
for encouraging us to pursue the noble cause of promoting science among the children in Bahrain. Science India Forum is proud to be associated with the Missile Man and realize his vision of developed India. During Dr. Kalam's visit to Bahrain in February 2015, our Shastra Pratibhas had a unique opportunity to interact with him and those cherished moments will continue to drive them in their future endeavours. Great dreams of great dreamers are always transcended. There was a time when mobile phones, computers and internet were not available. Today, the human civilization is on the verge of spreading beyond Mother Earth. The advancement in communication technology is shrinking the globe. The human race is exploring new planets as other options for dwelling. NASA's InSight Expedition Vehicle has already started exploring Mars in search of possibilities of setting up the first interplanetary colony. Today, synthetic biology labs are looking to mix, match and edit genomes to design synthetic life forms. Entirely new synthetic life forms or biological machines made of engineered living cells from bacteria, fungi, algae will grow and evolve with the changing needs of a building's inhabitants. They breathe in pollutants, clean wastewater and use sunlight to make useful chemicals, energy, heat and vibrant vertical gardens. The future of transportation will be the rise of innovative vehicles such as flying cars, self-driving vehicles, drones and Hyperloop are representative of new sectors. Drones will be even used as fire and safety measures where drone-driven evacuation from high-rise buildings will be a reality. Robots with artificial intelligence are expected to travel beyond the solar spectrum and explore deeper into the universe to find useful information for the human race. India continues creating history in space exploration with the continuous successful launches of satellites. On the 5th of December 2018, India launched its most advanced communication satellite, GSAT-11, which could give a major boost to broadband connectivity in rural areas. The heaviest satellite ever built by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. ISRO's launch vehicles have successfully launched satellites of many other countries as it is the most cost-effective means of inducting satellites into their respective orbits. Our Shastra Pratibhas were honoured for their excellence in 2013 by Dr. G. Matavan Naya, former chairman, ISRO. In 2014 by Dr. Manoj Kumar Pateria, additional director general, Prasar Bharati, India. In 2015 by His Excellency Alok Kumar Sinha, ambassador to Bahrain and Dr. Raju Narayana Swami. In 2016, by Dr. V. K. Saraswat, former Director General of DRDO. In 2017, Professor V. N. Rajashekaran Pillay, former Chairman, University Grants Commission of India and former Vice-Chancellor, Indira Gandhi Open University, honoured our Shastra Pratibhas. Today, Science India Forum Bahrain is honouring the budding scientists in the land of pearls and on this occasion with their graceful presence here with us His Excellency Alok Kumar Sinha and Padmasri Dr. G. D. Yadav Vice-Chancellor Institute of Chemical Technology India On behalf of SIF Bahrain we welcome you all to this event this initiative of Science India Forum Bahrain is a humble attempt towards nurturing the young minds to dream, to achieve the impossible and to bring about a change, a change for the good. <laughs>